All right, as you've been watching these debates and key debates, including a big one right now with the governor uh, up in uh, Michigan, um, inflation certainly is a gimme. It comes up as an issue all the time. But increasingly, crime does as well, particularly in Michigan, which has a whole bunch of it to address. Uh, Mark Meredith has more from St. Clair Shores, Michigan, with on the reaction. Mark. Neil, good afternoon to you. Well, just a few minutes ago, we saw the Republican gubernatorial candidate, Tudor Dixon, wrap up an event here at this banquet hall behind me. She's trying to make crime front and center in this election, even as the polls show her trailing the Democratic governor, Gretchen Whitmer. There was some new FBI data that came out recently detailing what crime is like here in Michigan, because you have cities like Detroit, Saginaw, Lansing, all seeing a rise in crime, and they're also beating some of the national trends to the country overall in terms of the increase in crime. Today, Dixon was on the trail with the governor of Arizona, Doug Ducey. We had a chance to catch up with the candidate, and she says it's no surprise that voters are demanding more attention be focused on the crime issue. People are feeling it in areas they've never felt crime before. Not only crime, but we also have a problem with overdoses here in the state of Michigan. We've had quite a bit of fentanyl come, coming across our border, and we're seeing that much more often now. Governor Whitmer says she is addressing crime by investing in training and law enforcement recruitment. She talked about it at a debate last night. She also recently won the endorsement of the Michigan Association of Police Organizations. Delivered a bipartisan investment in our law enforcement, a billion dollars for training, for recruiting, for making sure that we're shoring up pensions for those who risk their lives. Now, on the ground, though, both law enforcement groups and community activists tell Fox News they believe both parties do need to do a better job addressing crime. And it's an issue for so many people here is a matter of life and death. All the legislation lately has been uh, about the offender and lowering jail populations or lowering prison populations. And it's not working. It does feel like a lot of propaganda is always talking points election season. Uh, and then we're left, we're left out here to just deal with this stuff when the election is over. And that's kind of kind of how it's been from the local level all the way up. Now, there is one more debate scheduled before Election Day here in Michigan, and we are expecting to see Whitmer back out on the trail, including this weekend. She's expected to hold multiple events with Vice President Kamala Harris. So Democrats ready to double down on this state because they don't want to, of course, lose the governor's mansion. But Dixon was telling me today, Neil, she's feeling better and better about his chances as the election grows closer. Neil. We'll watch. Thank you, Mark. Uh, to Steph